Hi everybody, bonjour tout le monde, this is Capital JB Comics, I'm JB and I hope everyone had, have had a great week. Uh, today I drove down to Augsburg, New York to pick up some items that I was expecting, but none of those items were there, but instead I had a CGC box waiting for me. Um, that was a bit unexpected because I've had, because I sent them with a few Bronze Age and books to be cracked open, repressed, and slapped again. So I thought everything was going to come in the same box. But no, they decided to send the modern books by themselves. And I'm still waiting on the older books and the books that were sent to get pressed and re-slapped. So, I will show the books that I got today, uh, right after this quick intro. I'll see you guys later. Welcome back everyone, let's get started with the books that I got from CGC. First up is Bad Girl number 23. This is my second 9.8 copy. Um, the more I look at this cover, the more I like it and the more I find it incomplete. Um, I love the white background, but I think it would have been even better with something in the background like a cityscape or a skyline or something. Um, I think I will play around with it in Photoshop and see what I can come up with and show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Again, bad girl number 23. This is cover B by Joshua Middleton. Cable 159. This book came out a few weeks ago. Um, this book I think is rare because I don't think many shops ordered 25 copies to be able to get this one cover. Uh, this is cable 159, 125. Um, I just love this cover. I'm not planning to sell to sell this cover. I'm just got it slab because I really liked it. So I decided to keep it in that good 9.8 condition. Again, this is cable 159, 125. Captain America number seven. This book came out in 2020. Well, um, this book I had sent with all my other Venomized books from 2012 and this book came back to me at a 8.0 and I strongly disagreed with that grade because the book looked flawless. So I decided to resend it to Joshua Avery to get it repressed, well cracked open, repressed and resubmitted to CGC and look what we have here a 9.8 so just goes to show you cgc is not always right guys everybody makes mistakes so 9.8 captain america number seven this is a one in 50 mike perkins cover the amazing spider-man 798 this is first norman osborn as the red goblin We've been teased for months about the first appearance of the Red Goblin. Uh, this is a 1 in 100 Alex Ross Virgin cover. Um, it's so weird because this book every week is selling tons of copies but not for ratio or for just above ratio. So if you have this copy, I think this might be a long term hold. Or, or at least until the next time the Red Goblin or someone like that makes an appearance in the Amazing Spider-Man comics. Again, the Amazing Spider-Man 798, 1 in 100, Alex Ross cover. I sent in two copies and both came back at a 9.8. The Amazing Spider-Man 799, again, this is a 1 in 100 Alex Ross virgin cover. Uh, this is the continue of 798 um, Again the same thing here. This is selling just above ratio. So if you have this book, I Think you should hold on to them For until the next time the Red Goblin or someone like that makes an appearance in the amazing spider-man cop comics I don't think you should get rid of them yet. I think there are still some profit to be made on these books the amazing spider-man 799 
I sent in three copies. Ms. Marvel number 31. This is cover B by Stephanie Hans. When this book came out, this book was pretty much impossible to find. People knew this book was coming out, so they bought a few copies. I was lucky enough to find one copy at cover price. Um, so this one is going to stay in my collection. I was lucky enough to also get Ms. Marvel number 31. This is the Hans Virgin Edition. I think these only have a limited print run of 500 on the Virgin cover. I sent three copies to CGC and all three came back in, in 9.8. Marvel Rising Alpha number one. This is a 125 Stacy Lee cover. Even though this is not the first real appearance of the team, because there was a free cover that was giving out, uh, I think, a few weeks before that. But I think this is the one you want because this is the first racial cover that wasn't a free cover. So people are looking for this cover. Uh, this is again Marvel Rising Alpha number one. This is a 1 in 25 Stacy Lee cover. The Amazing Spider Man number two. This is a 1 in 25 J. Scott Campbell cover. Like I mentioned before, I just love this cover. I think I just love when J. Scott Campbell uses pink, just like uh, that um, Amazing Spider Man presents Black Cat. I just love it when he draws in pink. So I think this is why I just love this cover. Um, I sent in two copies of this book and both came, both came back in a 9.8. So I am very happy to have this book in my collection. Again, The Amazing Spider-Man number two. This is a 1 in 25 J. Scott Campbell cover. Domino number one. This is a 1 in 50 J. Scott Campbell cover. I had three copies. I sold one. I sent two to CGC, one came back in 9.6 and the other came back in 9.8. Star Wars The Force Awakens Adaptation number one. This is a 1 in 100 Joe Quesada cover. This came back at a 9.4. I was a bit surprised but after inspecting the book again I saw why it came back at a 9.4. Um, I recently sold a 9.8 copy of the 1 in 200 black and white cover on eBay. Um, I think this one might also find itself on eBay. So make sure you guys keep an eye on my eBay account. Again, Star Wars The Force Awakens Adaptation number 1, 1 in 100 Joko Seda cover. And now for the big book of this haul. The Amazing Spider-Man 800. This is a 1 in 200 Gabriel Del Auto Virgin cover. I was very happy that this book came back at a 9.8. I think the I think the 1 in 200 is the only one of the high ratio ones that are actually keeping their value. I don't know what the Alex Ross one is doing, but there's a few 1 in 500. I don't think they're that popular, but this one is an an absolute beauty. I just love everything about it. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man 800, 1 in 200, Gabriel Del Auto Virgin cover. Very happy to have this in my collection. These were the books that I picked up today at my US PO Box address in Augsdenburg, New York. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think those Amazing Spider-Man copies of 798, 799, and 800 should be dumped or are they a long-term hold? Like always guys, comment, like, and share this video. This is Capital JB Comics and have fun collecting. I'll see you guys soon.